how to expose Business Central data as an API and consume with Power Apps. Hey, I'm Eric, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can expose any piece of data from Business Central as an API and consume that API in Power Apps, all using the uh, the simple object designer without writing a, writing a single line of code. So let's get right into it. Here is the simple object designer, and I'm in the middle of a, uh, a big solution. You might recognize if you've seen some of the other videos about the object designer. So we have we have tables and we have extra fields and lots of stuff. But what we want to do today is that we want to expose something as a web service, as an API. And um, let's expose the uh, the resources. I know from heart that that is table 156. Otherwise, you can do the lookup. Um, so I select the table, we get some names defined already. If you don't like them, you can change them. Otherwise, go down here and then select, we want the number and the name. Let's go with an address and a city. Uh, always good with some dimension codes. Um, uh, what else can we play with? How about some you know some some flow fields here some sales and cost uh, perhaps the postcode you know we select the fields you want and when you're done you you close this one and you can go say publish and we'll publish to this environment so what is happening now is that the simple object designer is writing the code not only for this thing but for all the other things that are in the solution and it's done writing the code building the uh, building the app and then it's getting deployed to the, the environment we're in. It also downloaded the app if we want to use that app somewhere else. Um, so as you can see here that I already exposed a lot of stuff here as, as APIs. Uh, so we just add one more. When we create tables, for instance, here there's a, a, uh, a table created about pets with lots of fields and stuff, but we have asked that to be exposed as an API also. So that happens automatic. Uh, and we have a column here describing what fields to show in the API. So I can go back and see what are all the endpoints that has been created based on the new tables that we have added with the, with the simple object designer. Um, and all these goes into the app that's just created. And let's go back and check the deployment status to see how it goes, we need to go up to the top. This is my test thing. So it's all always, there's tons of stuff going on here. And we see this in progress. I'll hit a five now, so now it's completed. So we're done here. So let's go over to Power Apps. And um, I will simply ask, the, let's create an app and use Dataverse. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am from Canada. So now it, I have already added a connection. So if we don't have a connection to Business Central, you could add a connection to Business Central. I have added a connection to my Business Central, so I hit that. And what happens now is that now Power Apps will ask the connector, hey, what data sets do you have? And, and what is a data set? Well, a data set is a combination of environment and companies. So I know that I was, well, I was playing in the Kronos company on a sandbox called ACS. So I will select that one and we will now get a choice for what table to work with. And uh, this takes just a second and then let's go down. We can already see here the customers was exposed with the um, with the object designer so let's go down around the letter r and we can see here our resources has been exposed so let's connect to that one and now it's building an app for us and maybe just to so we already got data catherine lena marty and terry but that could be fake. So let's hurry in here and open resources. 
and add a new resource called uh, video demo guy. How about that? So now we have that. We can go back to Power Apps. We can. Uh, so there's a trick if you click something here. So now we got the video demo guy here. So this is live data sitting our power, power apps. You can hit play. And here is our apps. We have uh, the, the fields that we exposed in our uh, endpoint. That one is pretty. Uh, let's look at Catherine instead. And we, oh, there's still not that much data. So now this is just an auto generated app. But the interesting part is that, hey, this is our data. This is our data from Business Central that we just, you know, five minutes ago exposed uh, as, a, an API, as an API with the simple object designer. So it's that easy. You just point and click and say, this is the data I need to expose and publish the app. And then you can go and consume it from, in this case, Power Apps. I want to show you one last thing, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, if I go back to BC and go into the Simple Object Designer again and look at the APIs we have here, um, and I go back into the endpoint where we create for resources, you can see that we have an option here called read only. So what Microsoft is actually doing is that they have you know, your data sitting in a database, and then right next to it, they have a backup, so a hot live backup. So whatever happens in your in your system gets replicated right away into this secondary database. Uh, and that sits on a different server and this different hard drive and stuff like that. So if, if one fails, you you haven't have a backup that's ready to go. That is, you know, a few seconds behind. Um, but we can use that. Microsoft allows us to access that database as a read-only data source. So we can, if we have to do heavy read operations and grab a lot of data, we can do that on this secondary database without uh, putting any strain on, on your primary system. Uh, and just by flipping this switch, the read-only switch, then you're actually flipping over to the, uh, the other database and consuming data from that one. Only read-only mode, of course, but that's pretty cool. You can check out the uh, more about the Simple Object Designer link below. You can uh, try it out in um, uh, by downloading from App Source. Uh, the demo version will allow you to add one field to a table and allow you to expose one a API endpoint. Uh, have fun and uh, questions. Uh, shoot shoot them to me in the comments below, and I will answer everything. Have fun.